Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 51 of Ocean Block. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. It's getting up there. Um, I just want to share the whole adventure. Oh, maybe not the whole thing, but I try. Because <laughs> um, I think this is a really cool mod pack. Um, but let's get into it. Um, I was busy in between episodes. Uh, look, I have my comma out. I was trying to make a better weapon, but I don't have the stuff. I don't. I want to make a Supremium weapon, uh, and put an augment on it. Because I figured out, I had to watch a video, but I figured out how to put augments. Uh, so <laughs> I figured out how to put augments on... The wep- the- the armor and the weapons, um, we just make a tinker's table. A tinkering table, I'll show you. Uh, it's a easy, simple recipe. Uh, tinkering table. Here it is. Uh, just some stone and a couple of solium dust, so nothing uh, too fancy. And you just place your armor in here, and when you do, it unlocks uh, the appropriate amount of augments, which for Supremium is one. Um, so you can put one augment per piece. Um, yeah, the augments I made on here was pretty easy, uh, <laughs> except it took a lot of golden apples, oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> the absorption 5 took 4 golden apples per tier, uh, the health boost 5 took 2 golden apples per tier, uh, so that's pretty cool. It gives me uh, more max health, which uh, I was really happy about. Uh, but I think it clears every time you you log on. Uh, every time you log off, it like removes it, and then when you log back on, it places it back on you. So you have to reach in that health every time you log on, which was uh, quite interesting. I, uh, but, you know, hey, what do I know? <laughs> anyway, I've just been sitting here trying to get some Supremium built up. Oh, look at that. Still not enough. Because it takes two Supremium per ingot. And I need 21. So I need like eight more to make the axe that I want. Uh, it's going to be 8 for the axe head, 8 for the plate, I think it's 2 uh, for the pickaxe head, so that's uh, 18, and then the tough handle will be 3, that makes it 21. So I got quite a ways to go, and I even used up all my time in the bottle. <laughs> Oh man, uh, I had like 11 levels and I, um, yeah, I used it all to get my stuff back out. Uh, boom, boom, boom. I went on an adventure in the end. Um, I was like uh, just wandering around trying to see if I could find. Uh, find anything and uh, my little portal was over here I started over here and I could see off in the distance uh, some of this so I went towards it um, I was looking around for uh, the ship and I just kept finding all these uh, weird biomes some of them were pretty uh, you know, beautiful. Uh, I took a screenshot of one. There were the 
these floating flowers. It was so amazing looking. Uh, the blue forest over here, that was pretty awesome. Uh, the trees were just huge. Uh, but then I went down this way and then I found the ship down here. Bloop. This one was a ship too, but it was crashed. So there wasn't any loot in it. Uh, besides like a, a brewing machine. So yeah, I looted that and I got the elytra. Um, and then I said forward slash home. <laughs> I'm done. Um, but I did manage to, well, I looted some of those flowers because they looked so cool. Um, let me see. Can I put them in here? No. Put them right here. They're like Philolux lantern and Philolux wings. So it's just like a little floating light. <laughs> uh, but each time you break one, I used the silk touch pick on it because I didn't know if I'd get it or not. But they look amazing. Um, let me see. Front one. I want to put one up here somewhere on the island where I can see it all the time. Um, let's put it like right here. Oh! Oh! My, I can't hear my jetpack uh, since I went to the end. Just stopped working. Okay, let's put it up a little bit higher. I think that'll work. Then it had a. Uh, oh, it's so fast. Had these like on the sides. Boop. Boop. Uh, there's usually six of them on it. I want it on the bottom too. Because it looked pretty cool. Look at that. <laughs> Doesn't that look. There were just like fields of them in the air floating, like little flowers in the sky. It's pretty awesome. I, I took a screenshot because it was amazing looking. Uh, here I hover off. Uh, yeah, so now every time I come over here I'll, I'll see that and that looks, that looks pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, I got the Elytra because uh, the, the jetpack wall is really awesome just it's kind of it's too fast I want to be able to slow down <laughs> um, so we got the elytra I don't know what to do with it I know there are some things in um, draconic evolution that use it that you can get some, you can augment these things, and there are all these different augments. Is there one? Yeah, the Squivern Flight Module. Ready, set, flight. Click to view recipe. Yeah, it takes an elytra and a firework rocket and some draconium and a module core cool um i think i want to try and make that i don't i don't know, I don't know if it's going to be the kind of flight that i want though i really wanted the uh, flight from mystical agriculture but it's it's not 
the ultimate is not there. <laughs> it makes me sad. Um, I guess they don't want you to have flight by planting uh, plants over and over again. So how do you make, we know how to make firework rockets, how do you make a module core? Uh, I've only gotten into draconic evolution a little bit, I think, when I played Stoneblock. Uh, so I'm not 100% familiar with it. I know how to do the setup to get it going, but I haven't really gone all the way with the mod. <laughs> uh, so we need this module core. Oh, that's not too hard. Quick eye rub. I forgot to push A. Module core. Why won't you... Why won't you do the thing? Module core. Um... Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing, but we got a module core, uh, an elytra, what was it? So that was what we were looking for. How do you get a firework rocket? Oh, it was not working. right it's just gunpowder and paper uh, but for I guess because there are so many variations of it it wouldn't give the recipe so I just used the one that gave one uh, used one paper and one gunpowder and got three of them so hopefully that will work <laughs> um, so now we need two draconium cores and that's it. Is it going to work? Yes. Oh, yay. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so cool. Now I need to look up the chest piece. I think, because that's what you have to put it in. A wyvern chess piece. Finally, some good fashion. Uh, the wyvern chess piece does nothing on its own. You need a few upgrades to start using it. The base upgrades you'll need are the shield control module, adds the shield effect, shield recovery module, recharges the shield, and of course, an energy module. So I probably should get an energy module to 
go along with the flight module. Um, and I lose my absorption. Crystals. Um, and a Wyvern energy controller. Okay, okay, I can do that. Wyvern energy controller. Oh, I need one of those. Wyvern Energy Controller. There we go. A uh, draconium ingot and a draconium core. Uh, another ingot. Okay. Two of these basic energy relay crystals. What? Another Wyvern energy controller? Okay. So just two, right? Okay. Another draconium core and another wooden energy controller and a diamond chest plate. Oh, I guess I could just uh, do this. doing that let's see what we got as a quest reward for the flight module <gasps> are you kidding me giving me another right jetpack that's getting charged up well I got a spare I got a spare oh wyvern chest piece oh that's awesome Okay, so now we need an energy module. I guess you have to have it on. Shift 
let's see. It works. So we'll put an energy module. Ooh, it's got energy now. And a wyvern flight module. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let's turn our jetpack off. Now, how does this work? Do I just jump up? not exactly what I was hoping for. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to fly an Elytra. It always makes me sick. Ugh. Yeah, I can't, I can't do that. I can't do that. Oh, sadness, sadness. Um, so I will play around with this some more for sure. It looks like fun, but I wish that I that would have had like regular flight. I wonder what other kind of modules there are. Um, let's do this. At miss, do, no, at draconic module. So they got an energy module, a wyvern energy module. What's the difference? That's an energy module. Wyvern energy module looks better. Sixty-four thousand four million capacity. Okay, yeah, it's better. You can probably do the wyvern one. What does that take? Two energy modules. Okay, interesting. You can do speed. Is that like take two? Yeah, okay. Damage module. Interesting. Oh, this looks so cool. Projectile immunity cancellation module. That's a mouthful. A shield control module. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. I wonder if the oh so if you do the draconic flight module gives you create a and creative and elytra. So that Stuff. We can make two wyvern cores. A potion of slow foam. Oh! Listen to the thunder. That was uh, distracting. Oh man. It's so. Strange. 
kooky. Awesome. So <laughs> I'm sitting here googling over or ogling over the cool modules. So uh, I will play some more with this and in between episodes and look at it. It looks it looks kind of cool except that There's no, like, nothing on my arms. I'm bare armed. <laughs> they can't have very much armor. Look, I've, I'm missing half a pip of armor now. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.